Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voice is quiet, body is calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen, after time, after time. So yesterday, Holly learned to say what she needs or wants in a strong, respectful voice. Speaking up like this is a safe way to solve problems. This is a photo of Zach and Gina. Can you go see? So Gina is a girl? Zach and Gina are painting at a table. Before Zach starts his painting, he turns to look at something across the room. Gina reaches over and starts painting on Zach's paper. Zach turns back and sees what Gina has done. Zach is angry. He feels like painting on Gina's picture. Does he need to calm down? Does he need to calm yes. down? Yeah. Yes. After Zach calms down, he thinks about the problem. Think about the words you would use to say what the problem is. What do you think that Zach would say to Gina? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, so, he could say, why are you painting on my paper? Yes. Yeah. And then he said, I don't like you painting on my paper. Oh, Good job. Stop! Stop what? Stop painting on my paper! One more, Vivian. Um, can you please stop painting on my paper? Yep, I'll do Jocelyn and then that's it. Can you please stop painting on my paper? Good job. Zach remembers that if someone is mean or disrespectful, he should say what he needs or wants in a respectful voice. So we already pretended that you were Zach and what you could say, because you guys said, stop painting on my paper. Or, I don't like that. So Zach says to Gina, stop that. I don't want you painting on my paper. I want to paint my own picture. Using words to say what you need or want in a strong, respectful voice is a safe way to solve problems. It also helps everyone in our class to get along.